that never fails. I just start my life and I get a freaking phone call. I swear to God, they sniff it out. They know. They absolutely know. So what are you guys doing on this blustery, blustery Monday afternoon, guys? Other than freezing your cookies off. I don't know what we're doing today. I don't. I'm just bringing the guns out. Voicemail that time. Hmm. Why would Washington, D.C. be calling me and leaving me a voicemail? I got a call from the president. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, pre I don't know what I did there. I tried getting rid of it. The wind is blowing outside, guys, and it says it is, what did it say? 39 degrees, 40, I don't know. I don't remember. I found this. It's a purple eyeliner. I don't know if I'm going to use that today or what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'm going to start with some eye primer. Face primer, I mean, face primer. Right there, there it is, right there. My biggest pores, okay, I've got this thing going on. It looks like a scar. I don't know what that is. That's right there. See that? Probably from me gaining so much weight. I don't know. So that's face primer. Guys, this tube has lasted me a year. Hey, Mary. Thanks for coming on. How is your temperature over there? I think we're sitting at, I think it said 39. I just looked at it, too. That's a CRS. Kicking in. Doing eye primer. A little more than what I need. That has a tinted color to it, but it goes on to a transparent color. And I want to show you, I have had both of these for about a year. February will be a year, and there's still a lot left in these. Still a lot. It's storming here and dropping. Yeah, we had some rain. It almost feels like it could turn to ice. I just know it's freaking cold. My dogs don't want to be out there, but my dogs are yeah. Fair weather dogs. Okay, I'm going to go in. Last couple of days I've only used BB cream, so I'm going to do it again today. BB cream on the foundation brush. Yes. The big one was the face primer and the little one was the eye primer. And I've had both of them since the end of February. And it's not too long and it'll be a year, right? The one thing I have used the most of is the Epic Mascara. That one I've had to refill a couple times already. I'm due for another refill. And that's about normal for me. Even with the drugstore mascara, I could three months, 90 days. 
and I'd have to get another one. That's because I would use it until it dried up, and that's actually the shelf life is 90 days. So that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to buff this. Circle motions to buff. And this is just the Tented Moisturizer. And it even without the foundation, it still has covered that pretty good. It's gotten rid of the redness in my face. Make sure I have my nose. And it is very lightweight. You know, even using the foundation mixed with this, the one, two drops, whatever drops you need, the two together are even lightweight. It feels like you have nothing on. Okay. And now I'm going in with the Jackard Face Powdered Face Foundation. Comes with your face sponge. I don't use that. I get my double ended brush. Two swirls. I'm turning down this dewiness. The dewiness is from the Tented Moisturizer, the BB Cream. And I don't know if you can see it on your end, Mary, but this is the side I put the face, the foundation on, face powdered foundation. This side still shows the dewiness. Here we go. And this color blends nicely with the BB cream. The color that I'm using anyway. Yep. Yeah, you'll get them like on your nose, little lines. Yeah, this would take care of that. I know my mom saw a picture that my daughter posted on Facebook of her and my stepdad from last week when we went out to breakfast with them. And... She didn't have any makeup on, and she she really didn't like the picture that my daughter posted because it showed her blotchiness and her redness and that. And it's, yeah, well, I'm like that too. And we saw her yesterday, and I noticed that she had a little bit of makeup on. <laughs> she had her foundation on. Okay, I'm taking that little end of that brush, the same fluffy brush that I used, and I'm just setting my eyeballs. Then that using this foundation has a dual purpose. It's setting that foundation, so it's not going to go anywhere. And it's setting my eyes. And we have setting powder, which I'll show you. Let me dig it out here. Okay, this is the Behold Setting Powder. Mm -hmm. And we have the setting spray. I use this more than I do this because of my fine lines and wrinkles. And it comes with the, like a, um, a net in there so that it doesn't dump out. But it's a translucent powder. I'm going to brush it off. It's a translucent powder, and what they use this for is setting your makeup. Well, I don't use that. I like using the face foundation, powdered foundation. Okay. 
Okay. I had Facebook problems. I guess Facebook went down, and about that time my internet went down too. And I called the company, and first call I put in, they disconnected my Wi-Fi, which disconnected the phone call. And it's like, oh, this is great. Now I got to go through all that crap again. So uh, this company is nice because they record your first call and they put me right through. You know, it showed that we were disconnected and I had just made the call and da 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 da. -da. So anyway, they put me right through. Well, um, the guy went through all the things and my modem was fine, but it still wasn't letting me on the internet. And I don't know what happened, but something with the internet. I used to be able to just type in Facebook.com and it would take me right to Facebook or Ask.com or Google.com, right? Well, now he had me go to Internet Explorer. Um, I always use Firefox. Anyway, I had to go to Internet Explorer and I typed in Ask.com and it came up um, page not found or whatever. So I top, typed in Pinterest and it came up with the same thing. Facebook came up with the same thing. So he said, well, maybe it's the way you're typing it in. So uh, just by chance, I went back and I typed in www.facebook.com. And it's like, oh my God, what a pain in the butt. So now we're having to go back to old school of typing in the whole www. And it's like, you know, I'm kind of lazy in that aspect. I like just putting in Facebook.com and you got me there. But anyway, he got me up and rolling. Okay. I was a couple minutes late getting on because I was fixing my shadow palettes. I separated them. This is my pinks and purples. Isn't that pretty? These three right here are all matte. These other ones are shimmers. I wanted to put them all in one, but they wouldn't fit, all of them. I still have a couple left over. So I did this. Here's my browns and, yeah. Now these look like they're yellow. Stuck my finger in that one twice. Nope, not that one. Yeah, it was that one. This one twice when I first got it. Stuck my nail in it, and then today I stuck my nail in it. It's like, boo-hoo. Okay. So I don't know what colors we should do today. Some browns, maybe? Yeah, let me see here. I'm going to go in with gingerly. My favorite color. Yeah, they are, Mary. Very pretty colors. I'm going to get a smaller brush. Okay, this one is called a crease brush. And that's because... You see how it goes to a point right there, and all these um, bristles on the side are kind of shortened. So it gets you into the crease, or you can create the crease. And this is just an eyeshadow brush that it gives me more control, but it still spreads it out some. And then, of course, you have the blending brush right there. Um, this one's another blending brush but it has an angle to it. I'm going to just grab my brushes out here. Just real quick here. So how are you today, Mary? Here we go. 
Okay, I'm going to try this littler crease brush. And I'm going in with gingerly. That's right there. And I'm going above the crease. I don't like that brush. That brush kind of hurts. Are you feeling better? Okay. The thing with the brushes is that, you know, any brush will work. Can it not outside? Yeah, you guys got to be cold there too, huh? Um, anything with the brushes, I mean, any brush will work. It's just that you need to find a good one, okay? And I have this one here, which is the rain and cold didn't want to get sick. Yep, I understand that, Mary. Okay, this is another crease brush, but it's more dense than this one is. It's not as soft than that one. See that? This one's smaller. So one like this I would just use in small areas. That's about where we're at right now. Um, we're under a freeze warning. which I'm dreading, but we knew it was coming, right? Okay, I'm going back in that. I want to darken it up. And I'm bringing that towards my nose, just slightly. Hey, Jimmy Joel. Thanks for coming on. Jimmy, you got a girlfriend? Christmas is coming up. I got a hair on my eyelashes. Look at me. Okay, um... Even my cat came back in the house, except for one. My female was still outside. She's a very hard. Okay, I'm going above my natural crease. So I'm actually making a crease. And uh, truthfully, this is the first time I have really used this crease brush. I've always used the bigger one I showed. This one right here. Or my big blending brush. That one. I have to say I like this one. It's getting it more up where I want it to be. More up on my brow bone. Okay, a little bit of blending towards the nose. And remember, side to side, we'll move it exactly that way, side to side. Circular motion moves it up. So this would move it up towards the brow. I'm going to get the blending brush in a minute and do that. I want to get this darker. go into another color. I'll have to get the color out in a minute. This is a brighter color. Oh, my light is so washed out. Okay, 
Okay, that color. Is lively. That one there. That's kind of blend that all a little bit. Circular motion. I'm wanting to move that up towards my brow, but I don't want to put it all away. That. Okay. take a fluffy angled brush right there and let's see here go into a brown today I'm gonna pop that right there in that corner and I'm just patting that I have the point pointed up towards my eyebrow and I'm just patting I'm kind of turning that brush with each pat so that it gets here in the corner with the point and then like this up here. Turn that brush. We had a very good service yesterday at church. We only go, my husband and I only go very rarely, like once a year, maybe. <laughs> but it was nice. Okay. And you're still able to see that um, the other two colors that I put on, but I think I'm going to darken that one up a little bit, but lively. Maybe I'll do the gingerly. I dipped into the gingerly. I'm going back in. I want that darker. Okay. So I've used three colors. I'm going to blend real lightly. And I think I'm going to do this to where I could wear this to work. Everyday look. get my glasses on for this, Mary. <laughs> I was dreaming I was putting my makeup on. <laughs> I've done that myself. It looks so good when you're in the bathroom and then you get out in the natural lighting and it's like, oh my God, what the creep did I do? Oh yeah, I know.
pretty scary, huh? <laughs> That's why I like doing my makeup outside. You know, that's the best lighting is the natural light outside. I would have my ring light behind my phone working or on, but yeah, it's the best lighting. Yep, natural light. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, okay. So, let's see here. On any shimmers, you don't want to put them up. Hi, Kat. Thanks for coming on. You don't really want to put them up in your crease or that because of what it's going to do is pop it out. You want your crease to sink in, if that makes any sense. Um, I do put a shimmer up here to draw the eyebrow out. But on any shimmers, you would want to have it down here on your eyelid. Um, I think, or in the corner. And I'm going to try this black shimmer. I'll show you in just a minute what it is. And I'm going to just dab that right here. This is the first time I've used it, so I'm kind of excited about it, seeing what it looks like. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost like a black metallic. That's pretty. And there again, what you're trying to do is get the depth. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to bring some of that down here. Love and hugs to you, Kat. How are you doing? Well, thanks for coming on my live. Okay. I'm going to show you that color. This is called... I'm good, Cat. Ooh, this is called Shrewd. It's a black metallic shimmer. And that's what I have in the outer corners of my eyes. It's the first time I've used that. I really like that. One of these days I'll have to mix the two together. I have the black right here. And then that shrewd is right there. I'm just going to darken this one up a little bit. The shrewd. And still, I would wear this to work. As an everyday. Okay, I'm going to blend. If I can find my fluffy brush. There it is. Circle that just a little bit. Lightest touch. And I'm going to clean that up down here. And I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put a highlight up on my brow once I get those in place. And I'm going in with the brow palette blonde brow palette and I'm going to use number two, the darker brown. And just a couple taps in that. I start at the arch. And I'm just doing short strokes right on the hair. And what you want is right here is where your brow starts. You line your 
brush up with your nose. And right there is where it starts, which is where mine starts. Your arch should be in the middle of your pupil. And the tail should be right at the edge of your eye, which is where mine is at. It's a little long. Yeah, I like that shrewd one too. I'm going to. Maybe tomorrow, if I remember, I'll use the two blacks together, the shrewd and that one, or the shrewd and black. Okay, I'm going to tip, change my brush from the pointed tip to facing my ear, and I'm brushing against the hair. I'm brushing forward. And I am staying right in my hairline, guys. I'm not over exaggerating, if that makes sense. Couple of tips in the brown, right on the arch and down. Forward against the hair. And remember, I turned my brush. The point is against. Point it towards my ear. I turn it so the point is towards my nose now and I brush with the hair. And down. Okay, I'm going to dip into the wax. And I'm just going to wax some puppies down. have not seen our suspicious driver, so hopefully I scared him off with my phone. Okay, I'm going to take my fully brush and I'm just going to blend that, kind of brush it. I'm not taking anything off per se, I'm just blending. I'm going to take my foundation brush. I just have that BB cream. Yeah, me too, Mary. The BB cream I started out with is all that is on this brush. And I'm doing an eye lift. I lift. Yeah. Okay. And my first palette that I got was this one. And I use this for everything, guys. I use this as a, a highlighter. I use that as blush. I use that below my eyebrows, which I'm going to do now, and that one as kind of like a highlighter or below my brow. So I'm going to use this one, which is Optimistic below my eyebrow. I'm going to give it that little bit of shimmer to highlight. And I want that blended down. Okay, I'm going to take my big blending brush, that's that. So I didn't warm this up. Hi Arlene, thanks for coming on. I didn't warm this up, so the Epic Mascara. So, hang on a minute. I'm going to warm it up there and put it in there. Let that warm up and I'll move on to the contouring. Thank you, Arlene. Greatly appreciated. 
Are you guys cold up there? Cat, you guys got to be cold in Montreal, huh? Okay, I'm taking the brush and I'm on the side. This is a beachfront bronzer and I'm using the solid side right there. Solid side by meaning there's no highlighter mixed in with it. I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about. Okay, the highlighter. See those gold specks on this this side right here? That has highlighter in it. This other side is just a plain side. There, you can see it. So it's a dual. So you can do the, the two together. More is a one and one. And I use the highlighter on my cheekbones. And I kind of blend into the contour. Hey Peggy, thanks for coming on. Yes. 37 Fahrenheit there. Yeah, it's cold, but you know what? It's almost, we're almost as cold as you are. I think I had 39. I think that's what my app said. 39 and they say that feels like 45. No, it feels like 39. It's cold out there. Cold and blustery. Okay. I'm going to contour my nose, guys. I'm taking a smaller fluffy brush with an angle on it. And I'm going in that single side and right down my nose. Right there. And I'm using the fluffy brush because I don't want to have such a harsh line on my nose. Right there. And to make it shorter, I'm going to do my tip. Cody lip. Said you're a big brother. Yeah. You take care of your little brother? Do anything for him? Yeah. Okay, there's that. Because, uh, Minus three and flurries tonight. Oh, I don't want that. You can keep that there. I know you usually have worse weather than we do in Canada than we do here in the States, but yeah. I don't want that. Okay, I'm going to use some beachfront highlighter, guys. This is Belize. See that? That's a gold. <laughs> yeah. And I'm still using that fluffy brush, and I'm going right here. See that shimmer? Let me shimmer up my age spot. <laughs> I could have actually put this, in fact I will, up here. I'm going to tone this down a little bit up here. My nose. So I'm put it on the tips of their nose. Well, my nose is long enough. I don't need it any longer, right? And my cupid's bow. So I want a puffier fat or top lip. So it's going to give me the illusion of having a bigger top lip, plumper top lip. Okay. 
anymore. It's going to be more of a glam shot than a work shot. So we'll quit at that. I'm going to blend that into the eyebrow. And I want to blend my lip, this top lip. All right. Grab my mascara. That's all it needed was just a few minutes in the tatas, guys. And this, it, the Epic is just going to bring that black out. That shrewd. I'm going to make it pop. I don't know if you can see the, the shimmer in it. Um, I've been with Unique since the end of February. I have been wearing makeup basically all my life, but it has been pretty much just a, a thin line of um, eyeshadow as eyeliner. If we would go out, I would do my makeup like this. But a lot of it I just learned. Yes, Mary, that's all. A lot of this I have just learned, and I'm still learning. And I, anybody can do this. They don't have to be a pro. I'm not a pro. I'm not a makeup artist. I just stop on a bunch of different people's um, videos that they have done. And it's like, oh, that looks easy. Some of it, like in my Halloween ones, the spider, that looked easy, but oh my God, that was so hard. And the awesome thing about wearing makeup is it is whatever you like. There's no right or wrong way. Okay, I'm going to do the bottom. Okay, I'm going to warm this up again. glasses on so I can read the comments. Let's see here. Make it look easy, but I know it's not practicing perfect. Um, it gets easier the more you do it. And uh, there's looks like the one, I think it was yesterday morning, I did more, I wanted a, a fast, easy look, and I added, I had it the way I wanted it, but then I added a brown. I, Arlene was on here yesterday and saw that. I added a brown to this eye, and it just, it ruined, to me, it ruined the effect. I didn't like it, so I got rid of the brown as best as I could. Well, I went over here, and I added a touch of brown to kind of even up the eyeballs, and yeah. So it's all trial and error each time you do it. Um, lipstick. Let's see here. Should we use a metallic, which is spry, or how about this one? Um, I forgot the color of that. That's my favorite one, though. We've got that.
Oh, that's really pink. Are you guys going to pick? I'll have to number them. Okay, so this one is one, two, three, four. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, and five. What color, guys? I know this one here, this is a metallic shimmer. That one is spry. This one here is... Um, I don't know if I can read it. Number four. Which is this one right here. Yeah, that one's my favorite. Three or four. Okay, how about we go with four. Let it come to me when I get off the live what the color is. I think this is a good choice with the eyeshadow. It's going to bug me. I can't remember the name of that, and I can't read it off the, off the tube. You see that writing there? See how small it is? Probably can't. It's shed or the light's reflecting. The name of that is right in there, and I can't read it. Hey, Joy, Jane, thanks for coming on. This one came in my kit. Stellar. I did get to read that. Okay, this is Stellar that I have on. This is my favorite one, guys. That one. Okay, I've got that on there. I'm going to let it kind of dry a little bit. And I'm going to go in with the second coat of Epic. You know what? I'm going to bring it up a notch. Ta da purple and black. I'm going to do some minkin, guys, which is I'm doing the tips of my lashes. Minking is the bottom towards my eyelid is in a different color, kind of like a mink. You know, when you rub a mink coat, that's one color, you rub it, the other way it's another color. <laughs> yeah, that was a spur of the moment, Mary, but yeah, you're right. I wasn't going to do it, and it's like, no, I got to I am fascinated with this purple. Look at that. That really changes that black, it kind of turns it to a bluish purple. That is awesome. Look at that, how it changed it. I think I'm going to leave that right now. Hang on a minute. I'm going to do a selfie, guys. Hang on. Did it. Okay. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah, it changes the color of my eyes.
this one to this one, I think they're a little bit different color on the eyeshadow plus my eye color. That's just amazing, right? Okay, here we go. I got to match them up. And I like that the formula is the same as the regular Epic, that it has the curling agents in it. Is it this one here is already trying to curl into my skin. And by that I mean when I look up it wants to curl towards my skin. Okay. That's it, guys. And remember the secret for smooth application of mascara. Where's my other one? It's not there. Hmm. There it is. Smooth application for mascara is to warm it up. Um, some people put it in a warm cup of water. If you don't want the mask, like me, I'm such a klutz that any water around my station would probably end up all over everywhere. So, the easiest for me is to stick it between my boobies right there and the bra just kind of holds them right in place, right? And I just leave them there until I'm ready to use it. And by that time, it's made the mascara just so smooth soft and smooth. It's almost like opening a new tube of mascara. Just, yeah. And this one, I'm ready to order another one. Now, if I would have been on the ball and signed up for the Prestige package that I have, I would have had one of these in my hands right now. Um, the Prestige Thank you, Mary. I feel younger, actually. I do. I don't feel like an old hag. Um, the Prestige program is easy to sign up for, and it's easy to... Hey, Lupe, thanks for coming on. It's easy to cancel. Just a click of the button. Um, you have an option to get mascara free shipping dropped to your door every 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, or 90 days. Um, a tube of this lasts me 90 days. That's three months, guys. Tube of that, 90 days. So, um, and actually I think that's the shelf life of this is 90 days. So that's right on. And like I said, it is free shipping on that. And along with that, you get samples, free samples, and you get first opportunity at anything that they come up with, such as this, or actually this. They just came out with the number five of the perfumes, and this is just awesome, guys. This is one of my favorites. Um, before release to the general public, you would have a chance to get your hands on this. That's just an example. Um, some lippy sparkles they had in the past. They no longer have that, but say, for instance, they bring it back, you might have a chance to get your hands on that before anybody else. So that's another perk of being a prestige customer. So anyway, thanks for popping on, guys. Greatly appreciated. Um, if you found any value in this, do me a favor and click that button down there and scatter me to the four ones, guys. It gets me out there and it gets me noticed more. Um, spread the word, guys. Thanks. Bye.